Hello and welcome to News Central. This is NC Exclusive. And today our guest is a chartered accountant and a management consultant and a small business advisor with over 16 years and a passion for women and youth empowerment. He has a BSc in accounting from the University of Potakot and an MBA from the University of Nigeria. He is an associate member of the Institute of Chartered Accountants of Nigeria, Chartered Institute of Stockbrokers, and the Certified Pension Institute of Nigeria. He is a chieftain of the All Progressives Grand Alliance and a former senatorial candidate for Inugu West. Thank you so much for joining us and welcome to NC Exclusive. How will you rate APGA's performance as a political party since uh, its inception in 2013? It's right to say that we are one of the 36, if you look at this from a national perspective. So there's a lot of room for improvement. And uh, yes, we, we could have done much better. And I, I think that going forward, you know, focusing on uh, growing the party and winning more states is, is what where APG is at now. I look at the path that we followed as a developmental path. Political parties are long-term uh, organizations. So 20 years, one state, we could have done a lot much better. But that's where we are. One over 36, we can do a lot much better. Interesting. Well, what do you make of the uh, spate of insecurity in the Southeast? And uh, personally, what do you think um, is the solution? You know, some people say, the hypocrisy that told me is enforced by violence. Yes. But if you talk to a lot of people on the streets, you realize that a lot of people, you know, are not, there are many people who, who, who join them voluntarily. And now not clear that, and I say it generally, that a lot of times, what the leaders, the positions the leaders take are very different from the positions the people take. So, and when there's an absence of leadership for so long, People resort to, you know, unofficial or other forms of follow other people who they think represent their interests. So first, the solution to what we are doing is government has to work. Government is not working. Unemployment is increasing. I know it's a nationwide thing, but it's particularly difficult in the South is because of the nature of the people. The people are restless, they're industrious, they want to get involved in things. So yes, the government has to improve. The local government, I'm not talking about government at the center now. I'm talking about the government in the states. They have to improve. Jobs have to be created. You know, there has to be a lot of interface with the people that they rule. There's a, there's a disjointment between the rulers. And whenever that happens, you get the kind of things we have now. We have a, 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 a position where the Southeast is being governed informally by unelected people. And that is because they have lost faith in the elected people. Hmm. All right, October 1, there was um, a, a clear uh, statement made by IPOB that nobody should celebrate the independence. Uh, what do you make out of this? I was talking to somebody last week, I think, and we were discussing the, uh, both the economic of my state, Enugu, for example. Where were we in 1999? Where are we today? What really has improved? And if you look at everything from the way elections are held, you know, to the, to the relationship between the rulers and the elected, everything has deteriorated a bit. So uh, I think what is important is that leadership, which is very central to what we need to do, has to be people oriented. Our leaders, have to uh, communicate a little bit more, find out exactly what the people want, and find ways of solving it. Once the people think that you're working towards providing solutions to their problems, a lot of tension will be reduced. All right, so gubernatorial yeah. elections are coming up uh, very soon. Um, how will you rate yeah. Governor um, Willie Obiano's performance in the past eight years? Uh, I think he's done well. Uh, I think that uh, he's had some landmark projects that that should take us to the next level but what is sig more significant for me the person who is going to who is seeking to replace obian now that is charles to come as a leader why it's 
for the first time in elections in Anambra State and in a lot of the Southeast, once Soludo emerged, the talk about zoning subsided, the talk about religion subsided. Anambra politics today, the candidates are talking about the track record of each of the candidates and their manifesto, which is, which is, which is where we want to be at. So for me, Soludo it was a game changer in the political uh, discussions in the Southeast, because his emergence has brought up, we're no longer talking about whether he's Anglican or Catholic. We're no longer talking about whether he's from which zone. Uh, he probably arrived there as a candidate of Zuni, but nobody's talking about Zuni again, because we have a candidate that has a track record. There's a candidate that people believe knows what to do. You know, he's changed, he's changed the narrative in Anambra. We're now back to politics the way it should be. We're looking at the track records of the candidates. We're looking at the manifestos of the candidates. And that is what I find, you know, very encouraging and very interesting. You, you seem to be so confident about Chukuma Soludo. Uh, what are the chances, what are Abga's chances uh, in Anambra states? Let me ask that now. <sighs> Abga will win. Abga will win Anambra state. It's, it's clear. The, 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 they are absolutely, I've spoken to so many number of people. People are excited about those candidates. People are happy with all those candidates. And I don't see any reason why I've got one way. Hmm. Well, you said you're not, uh, you don't see any reason why he wouldn't win. But uh, bear in mind as well that there has been a spate of the campaign in Anambra to APC. Uh, what do you make out of this? If it's on the basis of both cards, APC won't even come third. Even APC knows that. So let's not. Uh, uh, Anambra is an Abga state. The people in Anambra like the fact that an Abga state. The Abga in Anambra compared to the other states in the Federation has done exceptionally well. The candidate that Abga is presenting is a first class candidate. So I, I, I envy Anambra people. You know, it, it, it doesn't mean that Soludo is going to do well. But at least you have a candidate who knows what to do. Now, he's doing that thing will not depend on the rest of the people in Anambra. Because sometimes power changes people. He may go in there and then, you know, they say in my state that the lion building that we have, once people enter there, they start behaving funny. So he may go in there. So it is now then that the APC and the opposition should stand up and be counted. And the other party should still remain, stand up and be counted, and ensure that they push Soludo to doing everything he has said they will do. So, I mean, you, 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 just a few minutes ago, you had said that you are certain that he would win. You, you're so positive. But, I mean, if I'm going to take your last statement, you're saying you're not sure if he would go in and do well. I expect that if for Zorillo to do well, he has to have an independent House of Assembly. He has to have a vibrant opposition. And he has to have a, a populist that is interested in what is happening. So doing well is another thing altogether. But... Whether he has the capacity to do well, absolutely he has the capacity to do. On the, compared to the rest of the candidates, he's, he's shoulder high than all the other candidates. And even some of the candidates recognize that. So, but doing well is a collective effort. If you can't leave it to him alone. The people must create a situation where, because he knows what to do, even if he doesn't want, doesn't want to do well, we force him to do well. Let's, let's ask one more. Um... Are you part of those who are in the, uh, clamoring for an Igbo president? A president from the east or south-south of Nigeria? Uh, yes and no. Yes, in the sense that if we are going to have a president that will be voted for by all Nigerians, so if we are going to have a president from the east, it has to be somebody acceptable to all Nigerians. And it has to be somebody who has the capacity to deliver for Nigeria, because at the state Nigeria is, we need somebody who can do, can multitask, can do a lot of things, a lot of different things in different ways. So yes, because because Ibos on any X can provide capable people who run Nigeria. Yes, if you if you're talking about people you know with uh, experience, you find them in the Ibo land. You, you're talking about people with wealth, you're talking about people 
uh, that have held offices and done commendably well with them, you find them here. So yes, but with a proviso, it must be somebody who is capable and who you know, has what it takes to take Nigeria to the next level. Lastly, um, Nechanya, what mm -hmm. is the future for you in politics? What about you? Uh, if, Nigeria is, if Nigeria is working well and everything is, uh, and, and Nigerians are happy, that's a good enough feature for me. Uh, I got into politics to try and make a change. And uh, that change does not uh, require that I must hold a, 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 a position anywhere. You know, so if the people who are running the country are running it well, who are running my state and my local government are running it well, I'll, happy to, I'll be happy to sit you know, on the sidelines, watch things and advise as I went, you criticize when I need to, you know, and then encourage them when I need to. So the future is about Nigeria being better. And once Nigeria is moving towards that direction, I'm happy. Chairman of uh, All Progressive Grand Alliance, Ndubi Nechonya, thank you for joining us. Uh, thank you. And that's all we have for you today on NC Exclusive. Thank you so much for joining us. Stay with us. We have more programs coming your way.